Hi everyone and welcome back to another Langmuir Systems Fusion 360 tutorial video. In this video we'll be covering post-processing and outputting G-code from Fusion 360 to be imported into Mach 3. In the last video we created our 2D profile toolpath as you can see here. Now because Fusion 360 is compatible with a ton of different CNC systems and control software, we need to ensure that it knows to export in a format which the control software we're using understands. This is called post-processing, or posting for short. The first task we have to do is download the Mach 3 Fusion 360 post configuration from the Langmuir Systems Downloads page. You can find the link beneath the link to download Fusion 360, and it's called Crossfire Mach 3 Fusion 360 Post. Click that file and it'll download for you. Next, we'll need to place that file in a specific folder on our computer, but we don't exactly know where to put it yet, so we'll go back into Fusion 360. And with our toolpath selected, we'll select the post process icon in the top menu or in the drop down right beneath it, and another window will pop up. And when this window pops up, you're going to want to hit the setup button and choose the use personal post library option. And once you've selected personal posts, you'll see the folder in which we need to install the downloaded configuration file. Now this will differ depending on where you installed Fusion 360 and what type of system you're running. But in our case, it's the user's language systems app data roaming Autodesk Fusion 360 cam post folder. So the next thing we'll do is open up a file browser window and navigate to that folder. Starting off, we'll navigate to the C drive, and then to the Users folder. Choose Langmuir Systems as our user. To see the App Data folder inside of your User folder, you'll need to either enable hidden folders or simply type it into the file browser above. Moving along, we'll choose the Roaming folder, then the Autodesk folder, and then Fusion 360 CAM, and finally the POST folder. And this is where we'll be installing the downloaded file. So we'll drag our Mach 3 Plasma CPS file into the file browser window and into the folder and drop it. Looks good. So now we can move on to actually posting our toolpath. Back in Fusion 360, we won't be able to see the configuration we just installed, so we'll cancel this configuration. And then we'll open up another one, again ensuring that our toolpath is selected. Now you can see that the Mach 3 Plasma Post configuration has successfully been installed, and there are a number of program settings there that we can set. The first thing we'll do is set our output folder, which I'll change by selecting the ellipses here, and then just choosing the desktop. Next, we'll move on to the program number and program comment, which I already have set here, but which you should use to describe the program that you're outputting. In this case, it's the architectural plate cut by the Razorweld 30 amp machine. We'll leave the rest of these settings as is, except for the Open NC File and Editor option, which we'll turn off, but if you want to see the G-code after you've output it, leave that on. And finally, we'll move on to our post property values here on the bottom right side of the screen. Now the only property you need to worry about in this list is the Pierce Delay property. Pierce delay is the amount of time the torch will delay at the start location of a cut to ensure that the material is cut through. And this value, just like the torch feed speeds, depends on the material you're cutting as well as the amperage of your cutter. We're cutting this program at a 14 gauge mild steel sheet with the Razorweld 30 amp cutter. So we'll set a half second pierce delay here. You'll want to consult your plasma cutter cut chart for this value, but they'll usually vary between a half and a whole second. Now pierce delay was the only property we had to change, so we can now go ahead and hit post. And once we do that, we are presented with a saving dialog open to our default save settings. These look good, so we'll go ahead and hit save. 
Now heading back to our desktop, we can see that we've successfully post-processed our G code for this program and we're ready to cut. Follow along with the importing of this file into Mach 3 in the second video of the cutting tutorials. Thanks and we'll see you next time.